All right, so we just worked on on uh, on value scales a little bit, um, uh, and that's going to enable us to do uh, another core concept of all drawing and all painting, and that is uh, uh, keys. Um, so that's just a, a simple term for basically picking a direction for the values in your in your drawing. Um, in, uh, in the value scale lesson, I, I kind of talked about um, that the crow is going to be in the dark half and they're going to skip a bunch of values and then go right to the light. But uh, essentially, uh, uh, when you key a drawing, you're, you're choosing a range, uh, or you're choosing a proportion in, in, uh, in your values. Say 10 would be the darkest value and 0 is your lightest value and you have a continuum all the way from 10 to 0, right? Now, let's say you had a a dark drawing like this crow, right? Your distribution of value going from 10 to 0 would be 10, it'd go down to 5 and then you'd dip down uh, and then maybe you'd have like a little peak in the highlights. So your value distribution would be weighted towards the darks um, if you were drawing uh, uh, something else, you know, you might have something that, that looks like this. You don't have, you have like a couple of darks uh, just because there's always going to be something really uh, typically pretty dark. And then you're going to skip out a few values and everything's going to be light in the end. And so your proportion is going to be weighted towards, towards light value. And that can give, that'll give your drawing like a different feel. Now you can do this and you can pick a key in one of two ways. You can either do it like like I'm doing here. I have a crow. I know that the key is pretty low um, in, in its values. It's all dark. Um, but if you want to take some creative license with it, you can pick uh, the uh, range that you want to work with before you even get, get drawing. Um, so that's, um, and that's why like using a value scale is really important because then you can say, okay, well, I want to pick, you know, something that is, that exists in the middle. Um, and there's not that many highlights, maybe more highlights than darks, right? So once I pick, once I know that I want to do that sort of curve, then I go up to my value scale and I like jot some notes to myself and say, okay, I want to use primarily like this range, um, and cut out other all the other values um, and that's something that's uh, that's important to sort of keep in mind when you're drawing um, so you can you can take the key in one or two directions you can define it yourself or you can observe it and then match the key to uh, to what you're drawing um, and that's a really logical way and most people never like when they're beginning drawing don't know about this or or just ignore this step um, and that's super important. Um, even with this, with um, uh, with the guy that wanted to learn about um, drawing a, a raven, um, his uh, was predominantly high key, but the raven itself was is is low key. Uh, so there's only a, a slim chance of getting some realism um, involved in that. So uh, that's how you pick. Uh, Pick sort of a value range, uh, a key uh, for your drawing, and each key will have like a different feel to it, um, and you can kind of match the key to the content um, in a logical way or in a counterintuitive way, um, depending on on how you want to take the drawing.